Say hi. This is my new dog, Rizza. Make sure you go follow her. Rizza the Frenchie on Instagram. What is up, guys? It's currently raining outside. So the next best thing to do is do a bike check, I guess. My signature stranger bike. And might as well talk about it and give you guys a little rundown and whatnot and all the new product and stuff. So let's do it. My grips, I'm running the Connor Keating Stranger Grips. I like them a lot. They still have the ribs and all that stuff. Really thin. So I have really small hands and it's kind of weird to say, but uh, yeah, if you have kind of smaller hands or you like really thin grips, then this grip's dope. But if you like a little bit thicker grip, like more of a holder grip, then definitely, definitely get the Mike Harkis grips. Uh, those are the Primo Harkis grips. And those are dope too. I'd run those, but it's just too fat for me. Yeah, Connor Keating Stranger Grips. They have the D on them too, so Detroit, or if your name's Daniel or Dan or whatever. Right here, my bars, my signature V2 bars. A lot of you guys are always asking me what bars I'm running because the V1s didn't look like my bars, which is right. So shout out to you guys that got that and saw that because a lot of people kind of like tripped out and asking what bars I'm. Like a lot of product I run is a lot of prototype stuff. So I'm kind of, and like a lot of other team riders and stuff ride prototype parts. So even if they have a signature part, they might run a prototype for like the V2, V3 and whatnot. So these are my V2 bars from Stranger, the Zia bars. They're 9.5 rise and they're 27 wide. So a lot of people are like saying, you should make them 30 and blah, 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 and people cut them down. No, that's not what I run. I think your signature product should be exactly what you run. I run my bars at 27, so therefore they're gonna come out the box 27. A lot of people, and BMX cut their handlebars, and I'm, they usually cut up to like 28, that's kind of normal, but 27, that's just what I like, so yeah, if you want a bar that's 9.5 and cut to 27, automatically ready to run, you don't have to go through the hassle of asking people that have a hacksaw or burning out all the energy on cutting your bars when that could just be going out to the riding and stuff, so, stranger, see your bars, right there. We're gonna go to my Primo Richter stem, this stem is dope. A lot of stems nowadays, I don't know why, but they always go back. So even if your forward, your bars are forward and stuff, they always felt back and I always hated that. And so, and the people that run like front load and stuff, it's kind of a little bit more old school and stuff, but people that run the front load, is kind of like it, but it's just a top load. I think the top load looks a little bit better. Make sure to leave in the comments if you agree or disagree with me, but yeah, I've, I've always wanted just a flat, flat stem in top load style. So I always ran, flat stems, I don't really remember which ones, but Primo ones. I worked on this with Rich Hirsch. I just told him what I wanted in this stem, just be flat, kind of middle length and stuff. And then he surprised me and put rivets in it so it helps your bar from not slipping in. Honestly, it's not even saying this is the best stem ever, not just because it's mine, it's literally the best stem I've ever ridden. So it comes in turquoise, rose gold, silver, and black. So if you guys like that, check it out. I mean, if you guys like a flat stem and all that stuff, check it out. Got a normal Primo headset. With the Stranger frames, they come with longer head tubes, so you kind of really don't have to cut your forks. And I didn't cut my forks, I just put the spacer, one spacer on top, top, so yeah. Honestly, I don't know if I'm running the Primo or Stranger forks. I have no idea, so forgive me. I, I kind of got lost in that, so I'm either rocking the Primo or Stranger forks. Either way, they're dope and shout out Primo and Stranger. My front wheel, I'm running the Primo N4FL front complete wheel in black. Literally, not gonna say this because it's my sponsor, but I was running Primo wheels way before I got sponsored by them. So the Primo wheel comes with the hub guards, full size and all that. It's literally the best wheel. I have, the hub guards are perfect on it, the plastic hub guards. My pegs in the front, I got my signature Stranger Zia pegs, 4.75 and there's a couple other pegs out there that try to mimic my shit and it's dope. Shout out to them for, you know, taking a little inspiration and whatnot. But uh, my peg is separates those other pegs because my peg comes with an extra sleeve. So therefore you don't have to go out and buy extra sleeves, hit up your local bike shop, whatever. You already have one on deck, one in the bag, one ready to go. You already know the deal. Yeah, convenience is key and that's what I wanted to do. We're gonna go to the tires. These tires mean a lot to me more than just a tire. Um, these are my Primo Richter tires. This tire and design is a dedication to my homeboy, Alex Hawkes. We called him Trip, but he was really into sacred geometry and he was literally one of the, my best friends. He's like a big brother to me. He showed me. I think we went on like my first road trip together. He took me out, showed me 
El Paso and he even let me stay in his studio, let me live, he like housed me and stuff when I was homeless and all that stuff, so yeah, there, I, I can't repay Trip more than, you know, doing some signature for him. I wanted to call this tire the Trip tire, but unfortunately we weren't able to do that. This is the Primo Richter tire, but we could all call it the Primo Trip tire because if it weren't for him, it wouldn't, we wouldn't have this tire. And shout out to Rich Hirsch for letting me do that. Uh, it really means a lot to me. It really it means the world to me. So big shout out to them. And this comes in a 2.4. They come in foldables. And I'm running the folding tire. Just rotation weight. And even like the, the non-folding tires are pretty light too. So yeah, try them out. People think they're slick. I thought they're going to be a little bit slicker. But they're actually really grippy. Way more grippier than I thought. And... I wouldn't lie to you guys, I'd say, I'd say they're slick if they were slick, but no, they're really grippy. Go try them out. Support. Support trips, support the company, support the cause, support everything. And they're a really cool looking tire. And you got the honeycomb right here. Um, yeah, I just really into that stuff, the lifestyle. This is my Stranger V2C. I'm from New Mexico, and our state logo is a Zia, which is a circle with, it's supposed to just symbolize the sun. We made it say Stranger, make it look like the Zia. It has NR in there, my initials but you can make it be whatever it wants to. It's just really clean, slick looking. Uh, my V1 was also like way more colorful and way more like Southwest themed. And shout out to Evan Fisher for always holding it down and helping me out with the design and this one too. Big shout out to them. And if you want a clean seat, this is dope, get it. And it is attached to a, this is attached to a Primo Pivotal. My 25 tooth Primo Sprocket, again, this is dedication to trip. We just wanted to make it to match the tire. I just wanted like a solid sprocket and Rich threw me this, this idea and I loved it. If you don't like the design, you can flip it over. It's just a plain sprocket that just looks solid, but in the back it's gonna have the design. And I run 25 twos. I do a lot of sprocket guard smashes, whatever you want to call it. And it's dope because you can switch two sides. So if you smash one, you get to switch it out and you get to use the other side, so. Two and one, right there. I haven't really got to ride these cranes um, just because I built my bike literally a couple days ago and it's been raining out, like I said. These are the Primo Super Bites. Let me see, are they the Primo? Yeah, the Primo Super Bites in 165. I like the mountain bike looking cranks, like square box style. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a brand called RNC back in the day that went under, but those cranks were the coolest looking cranks. They looked exactly square looking. They were just cool as fuck. And these are cool looking. So I think these are the signature Connor Keating cranks and they match up with the turbo signature Connor Keating Primo pedal which literally goes up to uh, the crank here. And you don't, you gotta use the Allen wrench to get your pedal up which is a dope idea. I'm learning crank arms a little bit better thanks to these pedals and can't say the cranks because I haven't tried but yeah. Try these pedals out. I know a lot of people are kind of skeptical about change and di different things looking but this is definitely way more platform and it's not a high pedal so I don't know it's kind of scooter platform which is weird to say but you just got way more room and if you want to learn crank arms a little bit better they've helped me out and that's not selling the product that's just honest truth oh I guess I'll do the chain I just got a Primo half link chain in black Stranger Zia pegs in the back 4.75 and then another thing my favorite wheel of all time the Primo Remix complete wheel all black literally the best free coaster in the game these come with the best hub guards that I've never had a problem with them never ever like I said even when I didn't ride for Primo I bought all of the Primo wheels because they've always been the best to me and the reliable and the hub guards that's a real big that's a real real big uh, plus right there because a lot of brands nowadays kind of make hub guards but they just don't work as good shout out to Primo man for making one of the best wheels ever. And, uh, yeah, just to my Primo Richter tire, 4.75 folding, and is that it? My frame, my frame is a 20.5 Stranger Zia frame, 75.5 degree head tube angle, really short back end, a 12.5, 12.8. Um, there's a 8.7505. I just a really dope street frame, really short back end, really responsive. This is a new colorway and new graphics. This is the almond color company back in the day called Dirt Brothers. And they had a color similar to this. And I loved it because it was a frame that I always wanted to get and I never got the chance to get. So, you know, I just thought of this color doing this. And I, I, I created these graphics right here. I, I made this stranger graphic right here, the stranger in, on my phone. 
the graffiti. I wish I could draw. The next best thing is using my phone. So I hope you guys like it. I matched the purple with my pegs and the turquoise to match my turquoise frame and all the turquoise parts. It's color coordinated like that. And then I'm the first ever ever to do it. I put it on my Instagram saying that I'm the first ever to put my myself on on my frame. Everyone was talking about how Chad did it and all that. But and Ethan Courier, but nah, there those were paintings. This is a straight up picture of me in high school. I think on the second day of freshman freshman year, we had to take our photos and a couple of weeks or a month later, I got kicked out of school for being a shithead. But it's all good. I had dreads, whatnot. It's just a really funny photo. I look like uh, really high because I was really stoned. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to uh, Rich for accepting all these things and giving me ideas and whatnot. And then I just have my stickers, my signature We Made a Visual stickers, Primo Baking. I still need my uh, Dead End sticker from Ryan Mills. Lost those. I got my ABQ DNV sticker that I'm about to put on. And yeah. That's about it. I wish I could get some writing for you guys, but unfortunately it's raining outside. We got a lot of things coming up ahead, a lot of new projects. Hope you guys enjoy this bike check. Make sure to check out WeMadeItVisual.com. That's my brand. Go make sure to check out Stranger, Primo, ABQDNV, OSS, No Jumper. I cannot thank everybody. Rich, Alfredo, Adam, you guys, YouTube, uh, Primo, Stranger, Tip Plus. Everybody and everybody, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave in the comments on uh, what color you'd like to see my V2 frame or anything else, what color I should do. Let me know because suggestions and I like making you guys happy. So please let me know. And a uh, big shout out to Dutzcom too. They, all them, all those dudes. Shout out to all the crews, Clay Johnson, TG, DK crew all day, um, Robbie Owen, everybody. I'm just talking now. And uh, yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe. How to do it. Peace.